How's it going, Gateway Church? It's Pastor Drew here. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. I have the privilege of bringing you today's daily soap reading, which comes from the book of Psalms. It's chapters 82 through 87. And uh, I just want to share with you real quick something that kind of spoke to my heart as I was reading through these chapters. And it comes from the uh, Psalm 86, and it's verses 8 through 13. And this is what it says. There's none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love towards me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. So as we read and observe this text, there's a couple of things that I'm reminded of. And the first thing being is that God is a faithful God, that he alone rules and reigns above all things. And as human beings, we were created in his image and we were created to worship him. So that's the first thing I'm reminded of. The second thing that I'm reminded of is that God is capable of doing many wondrous things. He's capable of bringing healing to the broken bringing healing, whether it be physical, mental, or spiritual. Um, we serve a powerful God um, that he's capable of bringing deliverance and blessing and so much more. So that's the second thing I'm reminded of as I read this text. And the third thing I'm reminded is that as we serve Christ, we need him to teach us our ways. We can't do it alone. We weren't meant to do it alone. We have to have a relationship with him. And as we journey throughout life and we teach and we walk in his ways, we are giving thanks to him in all that we do, giving praise and honor to the one who is worthy, the one true God, and that is God, the God that we serve. And so I hope as you read this, you're encouraged by this. And I hope at some point today, I would encourage you to sit down today and pray this, to read these verses, because what Psalm 86 is, is it's a prayer of David. So I would encourage you to take the time today at some point uh, to just read this, to let it soak in your heart and in your mind, to be reminded of those three things, that the God that we serve is faithful, and he is the one true God who rules and reigns and is control of all things, and that he is capable of doing many wonderful things in our lives and in our hearts. And the third thing is that he, we need him. We need to have a relationship with him, and we give praise and glory and honor for everything that he's done in our lives, in the world, and everything that he does. So I hope this encourages you guys. I'm going to pray real quick, and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. So Father, I just uh, I thank you for this time. I thank you for this moment, Lord. And I pray that as we read these verses, God, that as we take the time and walk, uh, I pray that you would help us and teach us your ways, Father. Help us and remind us, God, that you are worthy, that you alone are God, and you are in control of everything. God, in every situation, Lord, we can look to you and we can trust you. We can put our faith in you, Father, because you are love us. You you have a steadfast love that never fails us, it never leaves us, it never forsakes us. So Father, I pray that as every person who watches this video, as they go, I pray that they would take the time to read this, um, and Lord, that they would be reminded that you alone are God, and we can trust you, and Father, we love you, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.